to Katie's Playtime and Happy Halloween! So today, yes, I did get a subscriber ask me if I can make a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. So I have got my jack-o'-lantern pumpkin here. Quite hard to find a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin in Australia, but the supermarkets did bring them out for October festive season. So thank you to all the shops out there. And I got mine from a fruit and veg shop near my house. So let's get started in making our jack-o'-lantern pumpkin head. So what you'll need is obviously a really big pumpkin, a big knife. Now be very, very careful with this knife. It is very sharp. Um, if you do have a parent or guardian with you, definitely ask them for some supervision or some help because, you know, it's, it is going to be hard. A little sharp knife as well, so be careful with that. We've got a bowl for all our waste. We've got a big spoon and we've got a medium spoon because I don't know which one I want to use yet. You also need a candle. I've got a candle and that's going to be going inside my jack-o'-lantern. And a pen. So my texter pen is for my drawing on the pumpkin before I cut it. So let's get started. Now we need to cut the top first. And what this is going to be is our lid for our pumpkin. We need to make sure it's on a 45 degree angle which goes in like this, like a V. So the reason why we go into a V is because if you don't, once we've done all inside, your lid's just going to fall straight through the pumpkin and it's not going to be a lid anymore. So we have to make sure it's on that angle. So using your big knife, be very, very careful and just watch where you put your other hand just in case you slip. So we're going to go on an angle and then we'll pull it back out and just keep doing that all the way around. Now it is going to be quite tough, the skin, but once you get through the skin, it will be a lot easier for you. And just remember there's no rush in cutting the top of your pumpkin. Okay, so now I'm going to use my knife and I'm just going to just bend it a little bit just to make sure that it can pop out. Wow, my pumpkin's quite empty inside already. Welcome to Australia and the drought. <laughs> so let's pop that lid aside. So I'm just gonna add some water into my pumpkin. So it just makes it a little bit easier to get all the little spider web bits out of the pumpkin inside using the water to make sure it comes out. Okay, so now I'm going to tip the insides out into my bowl. So I've just got a little bit from inside now you can see in there. There's a bit in there now, so I'm just going to get that bottom bit and then we'll be done. Okay, so that's my pumpkin empty. Look at all the pumpkin guts. Ew! So now we'll just leave that aside and we're just going to get a towel. I'm just going to dry the sides. Okay, and now we've got to pick our favourite sides. So once my lid's on, my favourite side, I think, is going to be that side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to draw, so put it on its side, and we're going to draw on the pumpkin before we cut it. So I'm going to put triangles for the eyes. And an upside down triangle for the nose. And now we're just going to do some V's for the mouth. So if you make them like nice and big, then you've got more pumpkin to be able to work with. Okay, so now you have my pumpkin face. So I've got two triangles for the eyes, one upside down triangle for the nose. And then I've just done little V's all the way with my texture and just made it look like a smiley face as well. So let's get cutting. So using your little knife now, and remember to be really careful, I really don't want any of you to hurt yourself. I mean, I'm worried using it as well, so just be really careful. So using your texture as a guide, we're just going to cut using our little knife. And just do a little bit at a little bit at a time, because remember, there's no rush. Just enjoy yourself. Just making sure that it's all the way cut, all the way around. And that way it should pop out. Be 
really careful. Oh, it's pumpkin eyes just popped out. <laughs> cool. So let's do the other one. And be careful if you put your hand underneath to hold the pumpkin, be careful you don't stab yourself. So make sure your hand is visible. Ew, here comes the other eye. Blech. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go on the outside of the black because in that way no one can see that I've done my stencil. Now let's do the nose. Here comes the snotty nose. Okay. Now the mouth. So the mouth is going to be hard. So bear with me. And the trick is to just use your knife in little areas at a time so there's no rush. Because if you just poke it through with your knife, that, that width is enough for one little V. So maybe get someone to help you because it, it is easier if someone does hold the pumpkin for you while you're trying to cut it. Um, and at least this way you know that you won't cut yourself. <laughs> wow, that looks cool. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm just going around and I'm fixing all my sharp edging because it is hard to do it when you first cut it, but once you go around and do it, it is a lot easier. So there's my pumpkin man. He looks a bit creepy to me. What do you reckon everyone would say if I walked down the street with him on my shoulder? <laughs> I think that'd be a bit creeped out, don't you think? So now what I'm gonna do is just get my towel and I'm just going to pat dry it inside just to make sure that it's not too wet. Okay, and now I'm going to put my candle inside. And I'm just going to use my knife and I'm just going to lightly take any gooey bits off and then that way it won't fall in my candle. Do -do 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 -do. Little bit spooky! That is one cool jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Okay, so we've done our jack-o'-lantern pumpkin for our Halloween party but we might want it a little bit more scary, don't you think? So, I mean, it is scary already and like having a lid for our pumpkin head is pretty spooky. But what I was thinking was what if we made pumpkin spear coming out of the mouth while it's lit up? I think that's a great idea. So getting our guts, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure there's no water in them. Just squeeze all the water out. But we don't want them too dry because spew is a bit slimy. And it's a great way to set our pumpkin head out with lots of spew coming out of its mouth. It looks really creative and it's just something different. So I would love to see your pumpkin at home. I would love to see what you've done for your Halloween party. And I would also love to see what you think about all my Halloween videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I would love to see you in my next video. Take care for now, bye. <laughs>